The Black Widow Spider is notorious for two things. Their gruesome mating habits. And their poison venom. But why is their venom so deadly? We know that the female Black Widow Spider is much deadlier than their male counterparts, having and utilizing more venom in their attacks. Even though very few humans actually die from spider bites, the pain is so excruciating some people just might wish they were. And with the muscle cramps and weakness, nausea and vomiting, headaches, and that hard to breathe feeling being only just a few of the symptoms, it's hard to blame them. It's curious that Black Widow Venom contains a specific chemical that's only effective on vertebrates, when smaller insects make up most of their diet. So venom most likely evolved as a defense mechanism. While at this stage it seems like the best option for people is to avoid these spiders, there's the added complication that they live practically everywhere. From woods, bushes, shrubs, houses, fences, to even an unnaturally high altitude on a mountain. What I want to know is whether different environments have different levels of venom potency. A study once showed that there was a variation in venom of black widows across seasons, which tells me that a significant difference does in fact occur. In this study, the venom was seen to be less potent during the spring and summer months during their reproductive season. Which brings up the question, is there a trade-off between reproductive efforts and venom lethality? Female black widows have exhibited push-up-like behaviors to attract mates. My aim is to figure out if there is a correlation between venom potency and different environmental factors. For example, is the venom more potent in vegetative areas where there's more cover, therefore more small vertebrates? Or is it based on predators or mate choice? What is the driving factor? What is the driving force for venom lethality? In my study, I intend to take down several abiotic factors and measure them across different environments. I'm also going to be doing a basic capture mark recapture of both potential predators of black widow spiders and the abundance of mates. And using a method previously used by Macrone, I will be testing the lethality of each venom. I also intend to measure the length of the abdomen, the length from the top of its pincers to the bottom of its abdomen, the leg span, and the width. I'm expecting the abundance of mate choice to be the biggest driving factor in venom lethality. With environments that have less predators and less males, bringing rise to less lethal and less potent venom seeing as they don't have to defend against anything and having less mate choices means they have to work a little bit harder to actually produce offspring. Collating all this data and getting all the results from my study will hopefully benefit the general community and the scientific community. We'll gain a better understanding of what exactly drives the lethality of venom as well as just general knowledge. Knowing what kind of environments will cause more spiders to be more active and more potent and educating schools, park rangers and the general public about where to exercise more caution and where it will be kind of okay to venture out into the woods.